here's my review of the latest uh, LED bulbs uh, for the car by GreenClick. Uh, this is the, the latest model, so the difference between the previous model is that this one is much better at heat dissipation, uh, it's much uh, more resistant to high temperature and also has got auto dimming to reduce temperature when it detects overheating and also some power saving options. I think when you uh, turn off your car, uh, the light will dim as well by 30%. We're going to test that and the color temperature of the light as well and I will compare it uh, with the previous model. As well so let me open the box and see what they are like inside because the uh, design also has got some new good features uh, that save space and make it easier to fit in the car uh, now if I only I just need to find out how to open the box all right so I figured out how to open the box not that difficult like okay, I'm gonna remove the um, the bulbs from the box uh, very easy again uh, so the bulbs look like this. Uh, so the, the things you could do is uh, to, uh, actually the cool thing is that you can remove this and it's on a cable. Uh, so that might be uh, very important for many people, depending obviously on, on, on your car, but I can imagine that lots of people will, have, um, will be happy about this. And also this is nice aluminum, uh, really good, good at heat dissipation, I could imagine. This is not a lovely, protected by some something lovely and the manufacturer says that the chip here is a much better quality more much more uniform light and I can see there are like I don't know 12 or 16 elements of it instead of three in the previous model at the much smaller uh, but nevertheless let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on them and hopefully you could see in the center um, Okay, so this is it. Okay, let's go and do a review of, uh, of this and compare it with the new one, the old one, and I'm gonna use a color chart as well, uh, so we can com you know, see the color, the real color of that. Okay, so this is what the lights look like on the wall. I'm gonna come closer. So this is what it looks like in the car. So this is the actually the old model, it's not the new model, it's the old model and we're gonna compare it to the new one. Now I have set the white balance in the camera using uh, this chart from Spider. Uh, so you can see um, the colors are represented quite well. Um, I'm quite happy, my camera shows the color temperature to be around 6300. Uh, but obviously this uh, measurement is not very precise. The manufacturer says 6,000. Okay, so let's see uh, what it looks like if we turn the uh, beam lights, the long beam lights. Okay, so the color is uh, very different, obviously. Uh, now this looks much warmer now uh, in the camera uh, than in reality, but just a little bit warmer, just a little bit warmer. Okay. All right then, so let's uh, again compare it with uh, not again, let's now compare it with the newer uh, version. All right then, so here's the old bulb, so I'm gonna remove it. It's actually quite hot, uh, but should be all right. Okay, as you can see. Okay, here we go. Let's compare it now to the, to the new one. Okay, so here are the two models. Uh, so this is the old one, that's the new one. So. Kind of similar size, but obviously the build is very different. So let's now replace the old one with the new one. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. That was quite easy. Okay, now I need to remove um, the old fitting. Yeah, the, the plastic part. Now I'm gonna remove the this one by turning it to the side, which way now? That's a good question. Ah, this way, okay. Cool. All right then, so I'm going now to push in the, the bulb. Let's see 
okay it's 30 degrees like this and then I'm gonna turn it sideways okay, okay. all right I need to push it in completely and then I'm gonna connect it all right let's test it let's uh, turn on the light in the car let's see if it works Okay, it's working, it's working, okay. Okay, it's working, so this is the new one. And this is the old one, so let's see from a distance what it looks like. A kind of very similar, I think. Let's look on the wall, the image on the wall. I think it seems kind of, or maybe the new one is, it's, it's got a bit different color. It's a little bit more whiter even. So it's this one. I think it's a little bit whiter and more uniform. Whereas this one, this is the old one. They're very similar. The difference isn't too big. But, yeah, I can see a little bit the difference. Okay, I'm gonna uh, use the color chart. Okay, so here's the old one. Here's the old one and here's the new one. And this is the 18% gray, non-reflective gray, okay. Okay, so now I have both uh, lights in, the new model. Uh, yeah, I like it. I think the image is a little bit better than the older one. I'm not sure about the, the total difference, but uh, looks very good to me. We're going to do a test from a distance as well. So again, the color test, if you want to check it for your own reference. So here's the 18% uh, non-reflective gray and the color chart. Okay, and now we're gonna see uh, the old uh, the old ones are, are now the road lights, the beam lights. So okay, so here you go, the, the old ones. Uh, okay, we can't really see them from close. I think from a distance they look like this, and in the car they look like this. So both lights are on now. The camera is struggling, obviously with exposure. Uh, the new one seems to be a little bit white, a little bit different color. Uh, nice, I think, nicer white, but again, that's a matter of preference. Uh, the older one looks a bit more yellow, especially in the camera. In reality, it's not as yellow. And this is the other lamp. Similar thing. The old one and the new one. Okay, now let's switch off the engine. Okay. Okay, the lights turned off. So I think there might be a problem in my car, that's funny thing. So the lights just, first they turned off and then turned on again. I, I don't think it's, uh, it's the bulbs themselves. I think it's something to do with my car because I've had this before. But maybe it's the bulbs actually, who knows? Okay, so we're gonna now see the performance from a distance in a moment. Okay, so now we're gonna see how the lights change when the car drives further back. So the car drives away, this is, these are the uh, beam lights, the long one. So obviously the, the light is getting weaker and weaker, but still fairly uniform. Again, that's the road lights, the long beam. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. 
So the light is now okay, there are long ones. It's, a little, it's becoming insignificant, not very visible. So the car is around, I don't know, 30 meters away now. So here we are. That's the end of the test. Thank you for watching. Take care. Hey, so in conclusion, if you are thinking whether you should uh, get yourself uh, LEDs for your car or still use traditional ones, definitely use LEDs. Well, uh, the biggest reason for that is uh, that the much LEDs are much brighter than these. Uh, and even I compare this with uh, some Philips 30% uh, extra uh, light, but that they turned out to be a gimmick really, not much brighter, just a little bit, whereas with LEDs are so much brighter than the standard uh, bulbs that it's worth it. Obviously they also take less electricity. The color is, is this bright white and I know not everybody likes them, but if you like them, uh, you're gonna love them probably. It's brilliant, you know, I do recommend having those. And uh, regarding the brand, well, there are lots of brands. I haven't tested them really. I only tested those from GreenClick and I'm quite pleased with them. I haven't had any failures. I haven't noticed any flicking, flickering that people complain about. If you, if you get an LED bulb and you get this flickering, uh, check if you get it also just from the battery, so switch off the engine and see if you get the flickering from, uh, from the car battery. Because uh, maybe it's your engine causing some, uh, some problems, you know. Uh, another thing is you, maybe you got faulty ones, so ask for a replacement. Um, anyway, so I do recommend uh, LED lights and I do recommend those from GreenClick as well. I haven't had any failure for uh, around a year now, whereas I change those bulbs, you know, twice a year, sometimes even, you know, um, those standard ones, they fail quite a lot. So I'm really pleased with LED light. So that concludes um, my review of <laughs> LED lights, especially green click. Thank you for watching all the links below in the description, by the way, if you want to buy any of those and take care, have a lovely one.